Hey guys, welcome back to the next Six Flags Great America Sky Striker update. Uh, again, not a huge update today, uh, not a whole lot going on, but hey, at least it was clear today. Um, but it was very windy, so uh, some of my pictures are a little bit sideways, as you can see. Nothing really going on near the front entrance, at least no visual, visual progress. I really can't see anything from this view. Looking to the side over here, still nothing um, near the front gate where we are expecting some changes. Uh, they talked about it at No Coaster Con that there will be some changes. We don't know what exactly changes there will be, but nothing that I can see yet. Not really much happening at the Hangover site. Looks like they've taken out part of the extended queue out front, um, but overall, yeah, all the foundations and the station and whatnot are still there. Hangover and Revolution are both missing, um, and in its place are pieces from Daredevil Dive which makes sense given uh, the reportings from a couple days ago of Hangover and Revolution showing up at uh, Niagara Amusement Park, bought by Gene Staples. Over at the Sky Striker plot, we can see that, like they posted about yesterday, the foundations are indeed in. The four foundations for the four ride legs, along with the main station and loading slash unloading area. It is unclear where the queue will go, there's, there's a couple different spaces that they could put it around the ride, but I don't think there's anything um, sufficient. There are definitely a few markers in the ground uh, where certain things will go, but nothing that I can really deduce from this view. Also, nothing really happening over at Buccaneer Battle, or the Go-Karts, or at Revolution's Old Plot, or in Kidsopolis. We know that JD Barbecue is also getting redone, but the building looks normal. Uh, it doesn't really look like anything's happening there, at least from the outside. Viper doesn't really see any interesting track work like we saw. I mean, the, the covering from the last update is gone, but other than that, nothing really new to report on. One thing that I did find interesting is that uh, one of Demon's trains is on the transfer track. That actually looks like two trains. Looks a little bit longer than just one train. Because I know that side of the transfer track can hold two trains. So looks like they've put possibly parts of or two full trains on the track and just covered it with a tarp. Very interesting. And obviously with Daredevil Dive being now located in the employee parking lot, it is no longer near the Washington Street entrance. And yeah, overall, not a very big update, uh, but there's certainly progress. And yeah, hopefully sometime in the next month, uh, we'll finally get some hardware on site and see some more updates. Thanks for watching.